Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the difference between working with groups and working with layers. And this has caused me trouble in the past. Groups cause me trouble. So I tend to use layers. And I'm going to show you why so you know how to avoid this pitfall because I'm currently having a huge problem with this particular model in here. And yeah, you're going to see why. So she's pretty much done. Here, this one here is, at least for the level I want to deal with, this one's been subserved before. I haven't applied it in this case and this one is not and you can see there's a substantial difference between the two models in that sense but I really got into trouble in this one with grouping and, and it's still a problem and it's causing me huge performance issues and I haven't found a way to fix it so I'm going to show you what happens is sometimes I come over here and I'm building an object in the scene and sometimes I don't join them together but I want to, I want to carry them around everywhere I go so sometimes I'll just place them in a layer like I'll just select that select that and say maybe, maybe I'll move them over to layer 10 like that so then I know they're all in, in this layer 10 layer like that all right or I might instead of doing that I might press control G and then it puts a green line around it so I know I've grouped it together they're not joined they're just part of a group and then I call it something I don't know something too that'll be the name of my group like that so these these are part of that group so that at any point in time you know I've selected that I come back to this I can do shift G and I can go get that group of items and there they all are together and I can move them around but they're still not joined you know I can grab this individual one and still move them at, still move them out of there well what happens is if I if I get the group like this and then I make a copy of the group shift D X over to here yikes where to go like that and then maybe I'm making some modifications to this particular one I make a copy because I'm you know I get paranoid that I'm gonna lose some of my edits and so I'll go into here and maybe I'll make a, some modifications to this mesh just like that alright so there's and maybe I've done all kinds of really refined edits and I'm going well that's great so I'm working on this model and then at another point I go grab it and I say shift G and I'll go, I'll go grab the group again so there I have it alright so what happens is that when when I select it like that suddenly I've also selected these items in this group but that's not really what I wanted I wanted this to be an individual entity and if you forget to do that which is what I do sometimes is that then if you if you're over here and maybe I add another object to the scene I'll just scale it down a little bit and I'll move the I'll move the cursor to that object and then from there I want to move this to here like this or maybe maybe I like the way this is set set together so I'll join this to this control J that to that control J and then I want to make sure and then I've somehow gotten the group and well, then when I got the group it's part of this group now when I take this object and I want to transfer it to that particular location because this is a very common thing shift shift s selection of cursor well the problem is then it takes all it takes both of those objects and it moves it to that location so I'm really messing myself up there it's not what I intended to do so what you have to do is you, when you add an object to the scene or like this and maybe another object and I and I group those together and then I make copies shift D I'm sure I show you I'm getting somewhere with this and then I have a copy like this first thing I do is I go to object and I go to group and I remove from all groups so that's this is no longer part of that group and then I do control G again and I give it a new name something three like that so this is a it's a new group so if I go get this and press shift G group or this and shift G group you notice they're individual and then I don't run into this trouble of them running over each other and so but every once in a while I forget to remove it from a group before I start making all my edits as in the case of this scene right here I forgot I was editing the head and I spaced it out and I had two copies of the head and I kept wondering why my performance was getting down so low so I ended up looking close at this model so let's zoom in 
and look at and if you look closely at the face, she's got a double slit of eyes, and her nose is there's sideways. So basically, the whole the whole head has been doubled, and on this one, since this is subsurfed, this thing is just huge as far as uh, all the extra vertices that are in. There. I mean, look at all the vertices that are in this thing, like that. So like that. So I have way too many in this, you know, to begin with. So that's that's what's causing me the big trouble. And the problem is, because I had done it that way, there's no way for me to be able to extract it out. Or, you you know, you can come in here and you might think you could, you could get a vertice and you come down here to select. You can select linked, control L, and it doesn't. You might think, well, it would only select half the mesh. But in that case, now it gets the whole mesh. If I tried to move that out of the way, it just moves everything that's not part of it. So I really messed up. And it was, yeah, yeah. So, so what I tend to do instead, I'll just use layers a lot. So instead of grouping things, most of the time, that's why I wish there was like 50 layers down here. So I take an object, I'll take the head, and I'll just put it in a layer all by itself. And then I can just go to any layer and pick up whatever I need when I want it. So I thought it was the hair particles that would cause me trouble. So I cut down the hair particles in this, and it was still about the same speed. Well, that wasn't making any sense. But so well with with this level of subsurfing and way too many polygons down there, I'm down to two frames per second. So and since I can't fix the head on here, I'm probably just going to have to go back to a previous version and remodel the head anyway, which wasn't finished anyway because this was just kind of a mock-up. If you notice the the lips and the eyes and everything were just individual pieces and the nose is an individual piece because sometimes I'm just swapping things in and out and it's easier for me to test that way. Then when I see what I like then I'll kind of match it. It's kind of my form of doing uh, retopology on a mesh. So okay well I hope that gives you some insight to, to how to avoid that mistake because I assure you this one's causing me a lot of headaches. <laughs> Alright I'll see you in the next video.